The story of the Little Rock Nine is the story of nine individuals who had the courage to act. It is the story of nine heroic individuals who were high school students. High school students, just like many of you here today. And today, we will have the honor to hear from one of them, Dr. Terrence Roberts. As the time approached for us to go to Central High School, I must say to you, I was frightened. I knew what could happen. I knew the mindset of those who were in charge and in power. And they thought nothing about doing unto us with a sense of impunity because they were legally and culturally supported in so doing. But we were determined. I walked up to Central High School that first day because I lived a mere six blocks away. It was my neighborhood school. Only to find this howling mob that you saw in part on that short presentation. You know, I had expected opposition. <laughs> that was not the question. I knew folk would be out in opposition. But what frightened me was the intensity of the opposition. I thought they would show up, give voice to their displeasure, and then go home or go to work or whatever people did on a daily basis. But these folk had abandoned all other responsibilities and put their total focus on keeping us out of that school. Circumstances prevailed to render nine students at the end. Well, okay, I said. You see, at that point, regardless of what the others had decided or what had come to pass, we were of one mind. We were willing to die rather than give in to those same continued oppressive forces. You see, there's nothing written on the walls of the universe that says that white people at the top of this racial hierarchy should have dominion over people of color. I've never seen any rationale for that. And yet, that was the reality. And when I showed up at Central and found such antagonism, it was another personal affront. How can you even put yourself between me and education? How can you plant yourself as a barrier or a potential impediment to my wanting to achieve this education? And so I was energized to make certain it didn't happen. As a CEO in charge of my own learning, nothing was going to get in my way. Sometimes the question comes to me, how could you focus? How could you study in the midst of all of that craziness? Because I understood my goal. I was not there to attend to people who didn't like me or who didn't want me there or who were trying to kill me. That was not my main focus. My main focus was to educate myself. Especially for young people, there seems to be a growing interest in understanding who they are and what they're about in this country. And I'm impressed with a lot of young people because they're willing to think beyond the ordinary. Not all of them, certainly, but yeah. enough of them to give me hope.